Thomas Aquinas, the renowned Roman Catholic theologian who lived from around 1225 to 1274, represents a very traditional definition of theology. His outlooks grew out of the practices of theologians who lived before him, and his views continue to influence theologians in many branches of the church even today. Thomas is a huge inspiration to me um, because Thomas models for us how we could approach, on the one hand, the sacred texts of Scripture and the teachings of Christianity and, and, and the desire to be faithful to this, and at the same time, all of the input, all of the data, all of the research, all of the movements in mainstream philosophy and science of your day as well. Thomas was known as the great synthesizer because of the way he brought Aristotelian thought and Christian thought together, which at the time, nobody thought you could do that. Aristotle had kind of been forgotten about. He'd been reintroduced to the Western world through the Arabs who'd translated him into Latin so that everybody could read him again. And when Aristotle was rediscovered, there was a bit of a panic in Christendom at this moment because everybody recognized that Aristotle was a genius. He was brilliant. He had written on everything. I mean, literally everything. And then thirdly, it looked like everything Aristotle was saying was at odds with Christianity and that therefore could somehow disprove Christianity. And along comes Thomas, who takes this stuff very, very seriously, this philosophy very, very seriously. And at the same time, he maintains his orthodoxy. He maintains a strong, deep, not just ideological commitment to Christianity, but a spiritual commitment to Christianity as well, and he begins working on the intersection between these two. In Part 1, Question 1, Article 7 of his well-known Summa Theologica, Aquinas called theology sacred doctrine and defined it as a unified science in which all things are treated under the aspect of God either because they are God himself or because they refer to God. Two dimensions of this definition deserve special attention. Notice first that Aquinas identified theology as a science. Now, here, Aquinas didn't refer to science in the modern sense of the word. Rather, he used the term science in the older and broader sense of an intellectual or scholarly pursuit. In this sense, Theology is an academic task with a rather specific goal. Much like people study biology, psychology, literature, law, or history, theologians pursue theology as an academic discipline. 